Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna look at my new MPC 1000. I've ordered a second one, I already had one, and it's practically in better condition than the one I had. So, uh, what I'm gonna do today is see if everything's up to date so that I can load up the projects from the old one onto the new one. But I've noticed a curiosity there. On the left side you have the new MBC 1000 and the right one is my old one. At first sight they both run JGOS 3.16 but they have a different build date. That got me wondering because if you look at the JGOS website uh, he offers a bug list and that's basically a change log. If you go looking for JGOS 3 3.16 uh, in February, there is no official log entry about that. The last thing you can find about this version is the log entry of 24th of April in 2013. But I want both machines to be the same, so let's go ahead and update it to the last version, which you can download from the JGOS website. Once you have downloaded the file, it's as simple as just copying it on the compact flash card. You plug it into the MPC 1000, then you go to the load mode and load the OS file just like you would any other. Then it will ask you if you're sure you want to erase the ROM. Then it takes a while to flash and I'm just gonna let the video run so you can see how long it takes. As you can see, it's very, very simple. Once JGOS has installed, just turn off the machine and turn it on again. After that, you're greeted with a boot screen. You'll notice that my new MPC 1000 also has JGOS 2 XL installed and they can both be installed onto the same machine. If you wanna to switch to the other version, you just have to press and hold the tap tempo button while you power up the MPC 1000. So we're also going to go ahead and update JGOS 2 XL. By coincidence, there is a new version exactly released today, and we're gonna download the binary just like the previous one, copy it onto the compact flashcard. This time we're gonna boot into OS 2 XL by holding the tap tempo button. And once we're there, we're gonna plug in the compact flashcard again, gonna select the operating system file. This time it's the .os2 file, and you just load it up like the previous one by pressing the do it button. It asks you to confirm, are you sure? Yes, we're gonna do it. Then it will start erasing the ROM and installing the new firmware onto the memory. This will take a while again, but I'm just gonna let the video keep on running so that you can see how long it takes. After it's done flashing, you can just turn off the machine again and turn it back on and it will boot into the new firmware. Okay, so JGOS 2 XL seems to be updated successfully. If you want to know what exactly has changed in this version, you can visit the JGOS bug list and as you can see, he added a feature called LCD reverse mode. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it does exactly what it advertises to do. It reverses the polarity of the pixels on your LCD screen. I don't care for that feature much on my MPC 1000, but if you look at JJOS's YouTube channel, he posted a video about this feature and as you can see it's really useful on the new bigger uh, replacement display that you can get. It looks much nicer. 
As you can see, there is nothing more easy than installing a new version of JJOS. I'm very happy that uh, JJOS exists because it fixes a lot of the Akai OS bugs and adds some really good features to it. Now my new MPC1000 has JJOS 2 XL and maybe I'm gonna do a video about it uh, comparing the two uh, you know the JJOS 3 versus the JJOS 2 XL which costs I believe $129. Anyway that's it guys for this one and uh, see you next time. If you like the show and you like to support me, please look out for my music. It's on all the available platforms. Just look for Trash Generation and you'll find it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.